When we talk about soil texture, what we are really talking about is particle size distribution. There are three basic particle types, clay, silt, and sand. Anything bigger than two millimeters we call gravel or rock. But you rarely come across something composed entirely of just one particle size. So texture classifications also convey the relative proportions of the three particle sizes. This triangle is a handy way to show how different proportions of particles result in unique soil types. The percentage of clay in the soil is indicated along the horizontal axis, silt from the top down, and sand from the bottom up. For instance, a soil with 30% clay and equal proportions of silt and sand is called clay loam. It's possible to analyze and classify a soil according to this chart in the lab, but you can also get very close to determining the actual makeup of a soil with your bare hands and a little water. The easiest test is for sand. If you can wet a small pile of the soil in your hand and not be able to shape it into a ball, you have a relatively pure sand, less than 10% each of silt and clay. If the soil forms a ball but will not hold together as a ribbon, it is either a loamy sand or a silt. The way you decide is by rubbing it between your fingers. A loamy sand will feel very gritty because it's almost completely composed of large particles, while the silt will be completely smooth. If the wet soil easily retains the shape of a ball, can also be squeezed into a long ribbon, and feels sticky, hard to squeeze, and shines when rubbed, it's at least 35% clay and is somewhere at the top of the chart. If, in addition, it feels very gritty, it contains more sand than silt and is probably a sandy clay. If it feels very smooth, it's probably a silty clay, and if it feels only a little gritty, it's a clay. If your soil forms a ball and a ribbon only 2 to 5 centimeters in length, or is somewhat sticky, it will fall somewhere in the middle of the chart as a variety of clay loam. Rub it between your fingers to judge whether it is sandy or silty or in between. If the ribbon breaks at less than 2 centimeters and is soft, smooth, and easy to squeeze, it belongs at the bottom of the chart. Again, it's either mostly sand, mostly silt, or about equal proportions of both. The best way to learn how to hand texture soil is to practice on soils that you already know the texture of. Ribbon lengths are different for each person and require some calibration.